Hey everyone, here's a question from exercise 12.3, 10th question, chapter is duration proportion of class X. The question is, Raju purchases 10 pens for Rs 150 and Manish buy 7 pens for Rs 84. Can you say who got the pens cheaper? So we are doing comparison here that who got the pens for cheap rate. So how to do this? So to th do that, we have to find out how much this both both boys bought for uh, like one pen. What's the cost of one pen? We have to find out. Once we know that, we can do the comparison. But how to do this? So it's given the question itself that ten pens is equal to one fifty rupees. So I'm going to explain for the first that is the Raju case. So ten pen is equal to just equate it. It is rupees one fifty, right? We have to find out the cost of one pen. So you can see pen is written here and you can see the 10 is written here. So to find out the cost of one pen, we have to transpose 10 to the other side. So one pen will become, it's 150 divided by 10. That's it. It's very simple. I, I hope it's clear how to find out. And uh, so it's, you just equate them and you're going to understand which number you should divide with what. That's it. And suppose you have to find out that for one rupee, how many, like the same thing. I'm just telling you different instant here. It's not recorded in this question. Suppose you have to find out that for one rupee, how many pens you have bought. Then you have to find out the rupees, right? So send this 150 to the other side. So whatever you have to find out, that number is whatever number you have, you send that to the other side, transpose it to the other side. That's it. So here I have to find out the cost of one pen. So I want pen here. This number, I'm going to send this to the other side of the equation. So this is an easy way to understand which number you should divide with what number. So once you know this, we're going to get the answer. So let us write down the answer here. So I explained you to find out the cost of one pen, you divide 150 by 10. Same thing you do with the, in the case of Manish. So let's do, let's write down what we know from the question. So first I want to write about the Raju. So pen purchased, so pens purchased by Raju for rupees 150 is equal to 10. So he bought 10 pens for the he bought 10 pens for 150 rupees. Now we have to find out the cost of one pen. So therefore, cost of one pen will be equal to, like I explained before, you have to find out the uh, co uh, uh, pen here, one pen is equal to, so it will be 10 divided by, sorry, 150 divided by 10. 150 divided by 10 because 10 pen is equal to 150, right? So you have to find out the pen here. So send this 10 to the other side. So 150 divided by 10, cancel this in 10 table, 10 ones are, 10 fifteens are. So 15. So this means he has bought one pen for 15 rupees. So cost of one pen is 15 rupees. Same way you are going to find out for the case of Manish here. So pens purchased by Manish for rupees 84 is equal to 7. So he bought 7 pen for 84 rupees. So let's equate them. So here 7 pen is equal to 84 which means you have to find out the pen. So to send this 7 to the other side. So transpose 7 to the other side goes to division. So to find out the cost of 1 pen you have to divide 84 by 7. So therefore, cost of one pen will be equal to 84 divided by 7. This is rupees. So cancel this. 7 ones are 7. 8 doesn't go. So 7 ones are 7. 1 will be the remainder. That basin number 14. So 7 twos are 14. And this is rupees 12. So which means Manish has bought a pen for 12 rupees whereas Raju has bought the pen for 15 rupees. So which one is cheaper? 12 rupees is less, right? Which means Manish has bought a pen for cheaper rate. That's it. That will be the conclusion. So therefore, pens purchased by Manish is cheaper. That's it. So I hope this question is clear. 
In case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.